In this class, we are going to learn how to invoke any SOAP web service within the integration flow in order to meet your business requirement. In our earlier class, we had seen how to expose our integration as a SOAP web service wherein we had created a SOAP connection with a trigger role. But in the case of invoking any external web service within the integration flow, we have to have a connection with the invoke role instead of a trigger role. Then only we will be able to consume or invoke any web service within the flow. Before going ahead, you have to make sure what is the web service you will be calling within your integration and you should test your integration before implementing it in integration with the help of some tools like SOAP UI. Now for our use case, what I have done is I will be making use of this calculator web service which is available on the web and this calculator service supports so many operations like add, divide, multiply and subtract. Since we in our previous class we had already created an integration for the addition web service, I will consider the same use case wherein we will be adding the numbers but instead of using the mapper function in order to add the sum of numbers. I will make use of this web service in order to add the numbers and display the result. Like we are getting two numbers in the request and in the response we are getting a result of the addition of two numbers from this web service. So this is already available and the link for this web service I will provide in the description. You can make use of the same URL or you can make use of your own custom web services for testing your use case. First of all I will copy this visual URL from here and hit in the browser. Now when you check the visual or this web service, it is having so many operations as we had seen over here like the addition, divide, multiply and subtract. Now what we need to do is we have to first of all go to our connections and create one connection which can invoke that calculator web service with the invoke role. Click on this create button. Here we need to search for the SOAP. Select the SOAP over here. In the name I will provide as calculator web service and I will put this invoke and the role you should have this invoke you can have trigger and invoke as well but we will see in this next class as of now I will select this invoke if you want to provide other details you can do and click on this create. Coming to the visual URL this time we won't upload the file because we have not created it manually rather we will provide the live URL. So I will copy this from here and paste it here and click on test. So it is asking as our web service is not secured what I will do is from the security policy I will select no security policy close this error pop up. Now ideally we should not get any errors click on test click on test yeah tested successfully click on save and just go back. Next step is we have to create the integration. Now what I will do is since we are making use of same approach like what we had used in our earlier class or the use case that is addition of a number, I will make use of the cloning concept with that you will be comfortable how you can make use of the integration in order to build the similar use case. Now since we need only two numbers in order to send to this calculator web service that is number one and number two in our earlier integration which we had exposed as SOAP web service in this also we were accepting two numbers. Now what I will do is I will click on this options and I will click on this clone. Instead of trigger I will select here invoke. Sorry I will write as invoke. Click on clone. Now we can avoid the work of creating any integration from scratch with the help of this cloning concept in integration. Click on the edit. Now what I will do is instead of the mapper, we will call the web service and pass the numbers what we get in the request and the response we will map in the response of this integration. Now we need to click on this plus and search for our invoke connection. So that is over here that is calculator web service invoke. Select this. Here I will write as invoke get addition of numbers. Then if you want to provide description you can do it over here click on next. Here we need to select the port. I am selecting the port as calculator soap. This is the same thing what we had used in the soap UI that is calculator soap. Next in the operation I will select this as add. Once done click on next. The rest of the things if you want you can populate. I will keep as default and click on done. So our invocation has been configured over here. Let me just zoom out little bit. 
it is always a good practice to save your integration in every now and then i will click on this save integration by clicking on this save button which is in the top right corner now since we have already configured the invocation over here for calling the web service we have not passed any parameters over here in the request of this web service so we need to pass couple of numbers which we get in the request of our integration so in order to do that i will edit this mapper expand the body over here expand the add i will map number 1 to int a and number 2 to int b once done click on this validate so we are passing the numbers what we get in the integration trigger message and we are passing to the web service go back now once we get the response from this web service that is addition of two numbers we have to pass this response to the mapper back so that it can display in the response like what we had seen in the soapy now I will click on this, click on edit. I will enable this accessibility and developer mode. If you see we are having already the mapping over here. This is because we had cloned the integration. When we clone any integration, all the configurations and the metadata will be copied as is from the parent integration from which it has been cloned. Now in order to undo the changes, I will just right click on this. I will select this delete target node. Also, you can select delete mapping as well. It is always a good practice to delete the target node if you are not using it for this use case and if you are making use of the cloned integration. Now, expand this invoke get addition numbers. Click on this add numbers response. So, this is the same field from which we are getting the response as we had seen in the SOPY. Now, in the add result, we are getting the response that is addition of two numbers. Now, we have to map that to the response of this integration and map to the add element. Click on validate. Go back, save the integration, click on this business identifier. Since we have already cloned this integration, business identifier which were being used in the previous or the parent integration from which it has been cloned, this will be copied as is. So, we do not have to make any changes, just go back. If you want, you can save this again. Now, next task is activating the integration. Let me just activate this. Go for a debug and click on activate. Let me just refresh and check the status. Let me get the endpoint for this in order to configure in the SOAP UI. Let me just copy this. I will pause this class until I set up the project in the SOAP UI, then we will resume from the SOAP UI testing. I have created the project in SOAP UI and I have provided the URL for the web service which we had copied from the integration instance. In the request, I am passing number 1 as 8 and number 2 as 3. Now, when I click on this test button, it will make a call to our calculator web service that is hosted on the web and it will get the response and it will show over here. Let me just click on this run button over here. Go to XML view. Here if you see, we are getting the response as 11 over here. This 11 addition is not from the mapper using the functions. Rather, it is passing those numbers to the web service that is calculator web service and getting this addition of number and we are passing that number from that web service and showing over here. So, like this, we can invoke any web service with the help of integration by making use of invoke role while configuring a connection. Now, in order to track all the instances which we have triggered with the help of SOAP UI, you can do this with the help of observability. Go to the observability, click on the integrations. As this integration instance is having only two integrations, you can see both the integration instances over here. If it is a complex one, then you have to search over here by processing the integration name or with the help of integration instance ID by clicking on these instances. So, you can explore this section more and more. We will also explore as and when we go ahead with this course by learning newer concepts. Suppose I click on this any instance runs. Let me just click on this and click on the I button. I will get all the message details as I have selected the debug mode while activating this integration. Suppose I click on this, I will get the details like what was the message it was sent back like addition add result was 11. What was the message it was sent in order to invoke the web service like 8 and 3 it had passed from the request so 
suppose if I want to know what was the trigger message, like in the message we were sending get numbers, number one was eight and number two was three. So those things we can analyze with the help of activity stream and also we can download this for your analysis or sharing with your teammates. Suppose if they don't have access to this integration instance. In our next class, we will learn how we can create a connection which can use as a trigger as well as as the invoke.